In this video, I'm going to show you how to import products into your Shopify store. So basically, and simply put, the way that it works is Ali Inspector will create an import file and then you go into your Shopify store and you import that file. So if you're inside your, your Shopify store and you go into your admin area, you click on products here and you have a list of all your products and you also have this import option. So you click import, you could import a CSV file. And so Ali Inspector will create that CSV file. Now there's a couple ways you can do it. At the very top here, you'll see the tools button. Click that and go down to create products import file. And what you need to do is you need to enter in the AliExpress product web um, web page from aliexpress.com so you got to enter that into here if you want to if you have a link that you've seen in your web browser and you'd like to put it in here you can do that as well another way is you can do it from inside the software after you've done your initial research now what we're looking at here is I did a couple of searches for keywords hair weaves and hair extensions and I got a whole bunch of them here about 239 of them and I quickly went through and I uh, narrowed it down to five different products from this list based on uh, variations, um, the uh, ratings, the, the cost, things like that. And I came up with these five here that I sent over to the favorites tab. So using this here, we can go ahead and click preview and we can take a quick look at the products that I want to import. You see the images here and all of the particular information. So let's go ahead and create that file. So all we have to do is select the products that we want to create or import. So I'm just going to select them all. If you like to select all of them, you can just hit the checkbox down here, the checks, and then select all if you want. You can also right click and the checkboxes are here and you can go uh, select checks for all rows. Now we want to right click and go uh, export, create product, products import file and it will automatically place those AliExpress links into this window here. Now we select Shopify. You have the choice of using Shopify or WooCommerce. The next I want to talk about some of the pricing options. You can automatically set the pricing options in here which makes it really really handy. When you're importing say a product that has maybe 20 or maybe even 50 variations and each one of those variations may have a different cost. You know, for example, with hair extensions, there may be different lengths of hair extensions, you know, uh, 10 inches, 24 inches, and so on. And each one of those will probably cost different from AliExpress. When you go in there and select your variation, it's going to cost you less or cost you different amounts. The software will automatically detect that and it will um, apply whatever markup percentage you want to, in order to get your final retail price. So. If your price is, say for example, $2, if you put it to 100% markup, you're gonna be selling it for $4. So that's how that works. You also have the option to overwrite the decimal part of the prices. So let's say for example, a product cost you $2 and you marked it up 100%, so you're gonna be selling it for $4, but you, know, you don't really wanna see $4 for a product on your Shopify store. It's been proven over and over again for years that it's better to use like 4.99 or 4.59 or 4.69. You know, some sort of um, I forget what I want to call it, but it's some sort of psycholo psych psychological trigger that makes people buy. Basically, I don't um, understand or I don't really know the psychology behind it offhand, but I do recall reading about it. So that that's why you always see like. In Walmart, for example, you know, uh, something that's $6.99 instead of seeing it as $7. That one cent difference can make a huge difference in your sales. It's something to do with the psychology of seeing, you know, a cheaper number even though it's 99 cents. Anyhow, what this will do is apply whatever number you put there to the end of your wholesale price. In addition, it will also add it to a regular price. Now, if you decide to also show a regular price with a a, a percentage discount this will be applied as well so to explain what this means let's say for example you're selling your product for two dollars or I guess 2.99 if you want but let's just stick with two dollars and you want to show a regular price so let's say let's show a regular price of four dollars so 
Your regular price on your Shopify store for this product is four bucks, but you're gonna get 50% off right now. 50% off would be two bucks, so then you'd buy it for $2. But it automatically applies that to all of the variations and all of the products for you. If you have to do this manually inside of your Shopify store, it does take a long time to go to each and every variation and update each and every price. We've tried to make it a lot easier by implementing these pricing options. You'll probably understand a little bit better once we get an into importing these products. Let's go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click go. It'll ask me where I wanna save the products um, import file. So go ahead and save that. And after, after it's done, it should automatically just bring up your Windows Explorer where that file is located on your computer or your Mac computer. And here's that file here. So now let's go into our store. Where did I put it now? And we click import, choose file, and I'm gonna select that file we just created. You could also have the option to overwrite any existings that have the same product handle if you like. Anyhow, let's go ahead and click upload. It would automatically look at the first product for you and you quickly see if it's all good. It's good. I do wanna mention something here before we continue. Sometimes you will not get a description, and that's simply because there's a lot of products on AliExpress that actually don't even have any text within the description. All they have is images. Now, if they just have images within the description, we do have an option inside of AliInspector Ali to download those description images So you can see here inside of the download product images and descriptions, you can see this option here. If available, download images inside the product description. So that's where that could come in handy. But <clears throat> let's go ahead and import these now. So go down to the bottom, click import. And this will take a little bit because Shopify is actually going to AliExpress and grabbing those product images and putting it into their server. So that's what takes a little bit longer here. But I'll go ahead and pause the video and we'll be right back. Okay, and here we are. All those products have been imported nicely into the store. Now, of course, everything is not going to be absolutely perfect, but we made it as easy as possible. So this will save you so much time doing this manually. Let's go into my store here, check out the catalog. And now you can see all the products and you can see that regular price is, is uh, slashed out and you've got the retail price and remember the retail price is marked up 100% from our cost price so that's automatically already applied to each and every product let's go ahead and take a look at one now you can see in my particular theme I've been messing with here inside of Shopify it's not actually um, putting a line through the regular price but that doesn't mean your theme won't do that I'm sure there's a way of fixing that um, I actually don't like this theme that much I would suggest using a different one but anyhow that should be um, crossed out because that's the regular price. This is the sale price. And you can see the description gets put in there as best as possible. Now, obviously, you're going to have to go in here and modify some of these descriptions simply because on AliExpress, the descriptions aren't very good in general at best. So it's always highly recommended come in here and change it up. But at least you've got something here to work from. So we can go ahead and clean that up real easily. And then you can see all of the automatically all of the different variations are added. So you've got all the different colors and you've got different lengths. And if you come up here, you'll see the price will automatically update. As you can see here, it changed as we changed the different variation. Oh, that one is unavailable. That's simply because that one's not actually available on AliExpress. And that one there, we can see. So anyhow, it automatically is already applied. So there's gonna be a little bit of um, kind of cleaning up once you're inside your store, but you can see just how easy and how fast it is to implement products into your store just with a few clicks of a button. Let's check out some other ones. And this particular one didn't have any description at all, content, but we can see all the different variations and all the images are automatically put inside there for you.
here's another one here we can clearly see the price changing as they select different types if the if the cost is different that is and here's another one so that's how easy it is to actually import files sorry import products into your Shopify store I do want to show you something else here if we go and click into the product details where you can now you can go update the description and whatnot so a few other things that are put in here you automatically will see keywords put in here for tags so inside the software you'll notice that we have the keywords column here and these keywords they come directly from the product pages on Aliexpress and they are also imported in as tags. In addition, the SKUs are automatically created for you. An SKU, I believe, is a stock keeping unit. It's just a way of kind of under keeping track of your own store uh, stock. And a unique identifier is created for each of them based on the actual name of the product and the variation and in addition we also have these two letters put at the very beginning for AE so that you know that this product came from Aliexpress so that's a handy little thing so you may be importing products from other different sources like wish.com or other places using different types of software and in order to differentiate and know where to actually order the product, we've added the AE at the beginning of the SKU, so you'll always know where you got to go and order that product from. And so there you go. You can see all the variations, all the images, and everything in here. And you can go ahead and quickly modify your product and continue um, cleaning up anything that was missed or whatever. But uh, you can definitely see that you can save a tremendous amount of time by utilizing this feature within Ali Inspector.